owning your own home, the American dream. But in New York, owning a home can sometimes be a nightmare because of runaway property taxes. I ran for governor of New York to get the state's government cleaned up and to get our economy running once again. Job one is to get our taxes under control. We've made good progress on the state level and just finished closing a state budget with a $10 billion deficit. And we did it without raising taxes. Now we have to focus on controlling our local government costs through our property taxes. In the last decade, property taxes have increased a staggering 73%. That's double the rate of inflation. Believe it or not, we pay some of the highest property taxes in the nation right here in New York. It has to stop. Government must show the same fiscal discipline that every family and every business in this state must exercise. Tax dollars must be respected. And that's why I have proposed a property tax cap that will limit increases to 2% or the rate of inflation, whatever is less. The cap will impose fiscal restraint and stop the tax increases that are driving people from their homes. If the taxpayers want to pay more taxes, they can, and they can override the cap with a 60% vote. But the cap will put the odds in favor of the taxpayer, and they deserve it because the deck has been stacked against the taxpayers for too long. Many politicians are against the tax cap because it limits their power. The political establishment all through this state is fiercely lobbying the Albany legislature against the cap. If we're going to get this passed, it's the people who are going to need to overpower the lobbyists, and they must make their voice heard. Remember, the people's voice wins in a democracy, but the people's voice must be heard. Tell your representatives in Albany that enough is enough. Pass the tax cap now or don't come home. Together, we will clean up Albany. And together, we will make New York the Empire State once again. Thank you.